starting on your back. You can lie down, legs bent, feet flat, and hands resting on your tummy. Your eyes close gently. Notice how you're feeling. And it's not so much that we want to change the breath, but just begin to watch your breath flow in and flow out. Rock your feet until they touch, let the knees fall apart, soles of the feet open like a book, so the climb cobbler. As the hips open, feel the tummy open. And then the arms extend up over your head on the floor, elbows nice and bent, palms face up. And feel the sides of your torso opening. Feel the breath flowing down from the belly, up under the rib cage to the chest and the shoulders. And exhaling to let everything soften, relax and release down. Let the knees come up. When the feet are flat, cross your right leg all the way over your left leg. So knee over knee, arms extend out one line with shoulders on the floor. Little knees tip over and down to the left. The left hand can come down to rest on the top leg. Head takes a gentle turn to the right. Noticing how your breath changes when you twist the torso. But how the breath stays smooth, flowing in, flowing out. Take your time, we'll help the knees back to center, uncross, recross, left leg over right, knee over knee. Let the legs tip over and down to the right. Head takes a gentle turn to the left. Right hand can rest on the top leg. So you're creating a soothing massage for the tummy. Restorative twist, meaning really gentle. Twisting for the lower back. Shoulders heavy. Face is soft. Help the knees to come back up, uncross. Hug both knees in towards you, give them a good squeeze. And you can lift the head if you need, but we're heading into happy baby. So arms reach between knees, hands grab the feet. So usually we hold the inner edges from arches. You could try the outer edges if that's more comfortable. And the knees open 90 degrees, so the soles of the feet face up. Give yourself a gentle rock side to side, knees wide. Lower back pressing down towards the floor. Center it off and give it a full breath here. Hands heavy, shoulders relaxed. And as you're releasing the grip, the feet float to the floor and then legs extend out, arms extend up overhead. So we're gonna grab the right wrist, the left hand and flex the right foot. With the inhale, stretch the whole right side of the body and then exhale, relax. Grab the left wrist and flex your left foot. Big inhale, stretch your whole left side. And then exhaling, relax. Interlace the fingers, turn out the palms, flex both feet. Big inhale, stretch everything, fill up your lungs. And then exhaling, relax. With legs bend, you're gonna roll on over to your right side. Use your hands to ease your way up through sitting. And then taking a moment, so we're going to head into cat. Remember that you can roll out the wrists anytime, roll out your head and your neck anytime along the way. So centering off, palms under shoulders, knees under hips, toes flat or tucked, but sort of up to your feet. And then you're going to steady on all fours and just add some movement. So you can curl the spine, tail and chin in, really press the middle of the back up and open to the sky. And then gently rock the weight forwards and backwards. And just see how this feels for the muscles in the back. As the spine comes to neutral, you may just gently melt the chest. So you draw the shoulder blades together, kind of drop into the chest, and then do the opposite, press the shoulder blades apart. Try that again. So we drop the chest, shoulder blades squeeze together, and then broaden mid and upper back. Do it one more time, so there's a gentle squeeze, and then the creation of more space, 
and then spine to neutral, step the right foot forward and get ready to lunge. So we'll leave the left knee on the floor. You can inch it back once or twice, right knee directly over the right ankle. Start to lift the hips slightly out of the lunge on an inhale, and on the exhale, sink the pelvis down and forward. We'll do that again, so we inhale, take some pressure off the stretch, and then exhale, sink the hips down and forward. Do that one more time, so just soft motion, easing into that stretch. And then keeping the hips heavy, tucking back toes, press your back leg straight, look forward, and breathe. Now the edge of the left heel pushes back, the right knee's bending forward. The heart pulls forward away from the belly button. And then we float the left knee down. Step back into cat, palms under shoulders, knees under hips. And then draw the shoulder blades together and push them apart. Do that again, so melt the chest and then press open space between the shoulder blades. So one more round. And we press, so open the backs of the lungs, back of the heart, and then spine to neutral, step the left foot forward into lunge. Make sure the knee's directly over the ankle. You could inch the right knee back once or twice if that feels okay for you. And then nice and slow. On the inhale, lift the hips back and out of the lunge. And then exhale, bend into that left knee. Do that again, so we inhale, lift out of the stretch, and then exhale, sink into it again. Do it one more time. A little lift of the hips, and then sink the pelvis. Slowly press your back leg straight. Now you're still sinking the hips down and forward. Look forward and start to draw the heart forward, so extend the spine. Can you feel your breath? At the end of the next exhale, flatten the palms and step all the way back into downward facing dog. Any kind of free movement. Shake out the legs, pedal your heels, shake out the head and the neck, maybe shrug the shoulders, and then roll the shoulder blades down your back. Can you find a pelvic tilt so you start to free the sitting bones to reach up, back, and away? And then just slowly extend the legs, extend the arms, lean back, heels heavy, bringing that fullness with each inhale. And as abdominals or tummy join with the exhales, melt your heart backwards. Neck is soft. Let the feet step to the middle of the mat, hands walk back, so you'll meet hands to feet in a forward fold. Now from here, the feet are at about hip width apart. Let's take a slight bend in the knees. As the torso bows, give your head just a gentle roll around, so gravity is your friend here, unwinding the neck. Shoulders heavy. Finding that hinging sensation off the hips so the whole length of the spine can reach and release down towards the ground. And finding your roots through the bones of the feet, heels, balls of the feet, inner edges, outer edges. As abdominal muscles contract, you are rolling yourself up one vertebra at a time. Absolutely no rush. We're waiting for the head to land on top of the spine and then find Tadasana. Legs extend, shoulders roll up, back, and down. Shoulders roll forward, up, back, and down. And then one more for good luck. Shoulders forward, shoulders up, shoulders back, and shoulders down. Feel the steadiness of Tadasana, standing tall, breathing free. And just for the view, I'm going to turn my back to you and we'll stretch out the sides of the neck. So hands behind you, grab your right wrist with your left hand and give your right arm a pull straight down. So essentially you anchor that right shoulder blade in the back, then drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. The weight of your head will do plenty, so this can be enough. Stay here, or on that diagonal, just try a gentle rotation. Maybe down a few degrees, turning head. Maybe turning the head a few degrees up. 
And if as you're rolling you sort of hit a sweet spot, you could stay there. I like to keep a bit of fluid motion going just to unwind. Last breath. And then his head tips up into the center, switch the grip, so you're going to grab the left wrist, give your left arm a pull straight down, anchor that left shoulder, and then right ear towards right shoulder. Again, you might stay here, you might add a little bit of rotation, it's tiny, a few degrees down, a few degrees up, exploring all that length along the left side of the neck, as you massage the right, keeping the face soft, temples soft. Pause for that last full breath. Nice and slow, the head's going to rock back up to the center line. When you undo the grip, maybe roll out the shoulders again if you need to, roll out the head and neck if you like. Tadasana. Find your center here. Hands ahead of your heart, Anjali Mudra. And next, inhale, let the arms sweep out, stretch up, reach up, soft knees, exhale, swan dive forward and down. You're coming up halfway on the inhale, so chest forward. And then exhale, slow bow, let your head go. Repeat that, so inhaling halfway up, lengthen tail to crown, exhale, and take your bow. Do it one more time, halfway up, fill up your lungs, and then exhale, take your bow. Soften here, and then as you're ready, walk it out to downward dog. Hands towards the front of the mat, feet step back until your body creates an equilateral triangle with the floor. Any kind of free movement. As the heels come up, knees come down, prep for twisting and cat. So you do want to center off, but then right palm face up. Spread your right arm under your left and come all the way down onto your right shoulder and your right cheek. I sometimes get more twist if I leave the left hand on the floor, but I like to extend the left leg to the left like a kickstand. So just roll to the inner edge of the left foot and lay it flat. If you'd like to add on, the left arm could stretch up and back. You could wrap the arm around the right side waist and grab onto your t-shirt or your pants. But the idea, everything on the floor anchors to help roll that top shoulder back and down. Can you breathe into this twist, massaging heart, massaging lungs, and then just slowly unwind, hand to floor, knee comes in, and bring it back up into cat. Now from all fours, if you'd like variation, spin your hands to your middle fingers point back, and then curl it up, tail and chin in, lean back gently, wag your tailbone, and then spine to neutral and do the hands, reorganize. Let's try the other side. So left palm face up, spread your left arm under your right, shoulder cheek to the floor, you might stay here. You can try the kickstand, so the right leg will extend to the right, roll to the inner edge of the foot and lay it flat. You might bring the right arm up and back, or wrap the right arm around your back, hand could rest on hip or hook on, and breathe best you can. Long inhales, long exhales, keeping the breath calm. I'm going to wait until you finish off your next exhalation and then slip the right hand to the floor, slide the right knee back in, press back up into cat. Curl up again for the counter, tail in, shin in, Rock the weight forwards and back, so you stretch the mid-back up and open to the sky. So the spine comes to neutral, toes tuck, pressing up into downward dog, melt your heart backwards. Let the right leg extend out and up. Look at your left foot as you lift your left heel all the way up, and then sink the left heel back and down. So heel up, let's repeat, heel down, Third time as that left heel comes up, see if you can bring your right leg up higher and then step through into a lunge. Now either back leg could be straight or the knees coming down, but your torso's coming up, palm on top or palm on the right knee. You can push the palms into the knee, arms extend gently and there's more back bend. You can keep the elbows nice and bent, less back bend. So just see how your lower back feels about this today. 
and then left arm straight up and leaning over to a side stretch. So you keel over, reach towards where the ceiling and wall meet. Let's see if you can breathe all the way down your left side ribs. And you're gonna take all that length and as left elbow bends, wrap it around, left elbow to the outer edge of your right knee and palms meet in prayer. So now to stay balanced, hips continue to sink down and forward. If you're steady, look to the side or up over your shoulder and roll the rib cage around. For more challenge, look down at your right toes, tuck the back toes under, and press the back leg straight, but keep twisting. As you unwind, fingertips to floor either side of right foot, we'll press the right leg towards straight and take a gentle bow. Now if that's too intense, I would love for you to bring the left knee to the floor, let the right leg extend, and then flex the right foot so you come right up onto the edge of your heel. You just wanna make sure the left hip is directly over the left knee, so adjust if you need to. Sliding back down through a lunge to downward facing dog and then pedal the heels. Left leg extending out and up. Look at your right foot and then slowly lift the right heel all the way up and then sink the heel back and down. Do that again, heel up and heel down and third time's the charm. So right heel comes up. See if you can bring the left leg higher and then step through into your lunge. So either back leg straight or I'm going with the knee on the floor, finding the stability as the hips sink to lift the torso, palm on top of palm on your left knee. The pelvis begins to sink, heart begins to pick up to whatever degree feels okay for you, lift your heart. And then adding the side stretch so the right arm sweeps out and up and you'll lean up and over to the left couple of deep breaths, breathe all the way down the right side rib, feel the right waist opening up, and that preps you to twist deep, so help the right elbow to come around to the outer edge of your left knee, and then palms meet in prayer. And as the palms start to press, you're going to roll your tummy and chest around, so balance. If you feel steady, look to the side or up over the left shoulder, but find your focal point like more challenge look down at your left toes and slowly extend the back leg keep twisting slow unwind fingertips to the floor either side of left foot left leg extends just towards straight and torso takes a bow stay here or if that's too much drop the right knee to the floor extend left leg towards straight bit of flexion on the left foot so you can prop up onto the heel and take your bow from there. Remember, right hip directly over right knee, so adjust if you need to. End of that next exhale, crawl through a lunge to bring it back up and through, downward facing dog. Pedal the heels or shake out your legs, neck is soft. And again, the feet are going to step towards the middle of the mat, hands walk back to meet the feet, and we take our gentle bow from here. Feel the length you've already created, even a bit of heat, a bit of fire. Breathe into it. Now walking the feet in until they touch, feet together, knees together, start to bend the knees, hips sink back and down and extend either arms forward, heart forward, all the way up for chair pose, reach towards where the ceiling and wall meet. Try drawing the tail in gently, draw the knees together, don't forget to breathe. Sink the hips down one more millimeter, and then extending up, reach to the sky, and hands come to your heart center. Now turning open to the side, because we want to keep you on your mat, step the feet out about one leg's length apart. And then from here, prep for triangle. So you're turning the right toes out 90 degrees, left toes in 45. And then grab your hips and just make sure the hips, tummy and chest face the side. And then arms come up one line with the shoulders. We're going to hinge off that right hip and reach to the right. And then as right hand comes down, wherever it happens to land, let it support you. And roll the whole rib cage open to the side so your shoulders stack and your chest is broad. 
Now you could extend the top arm straight up to the sky. Keep the breath smooth. You can take the top arm overhead to diagonal. And I love to circle the top arm back. Graze the hip, reach forward. And then overhead. Two or maybe three laps, let's say. Just circling out to whatever degree feels okay. Remember, you don't want to force it. Watch how the sensations change. Left hand to left hip for the last breath. Contract tummy and slowly rock it back up to the center line. And switch it for the other side. So left toes out 90 degrees, right toes in 45 degrees. Hands to hip so you center off and then lift your heart. Let the arms extend out one line with shoulders. Breathe to the left as far away from you as you can and then left hand comes down to support. As you're starting to lean on over, right hand to right hip, roll the tummy and chest open so the shoulders stack. It's like from the middle of your back, you're leaning back ever so gently. And then if you like, the top arm extends up. Just try to keep your forehead a little higher than your chin. Top arm can reach to diagonal, that's a nice stretch. We'll go for the circles, backwards, forwards, and overhead. Two, maybe three laps, keeping the breath smooth. Now you'll end up hand back on hip, pause for a breath, and then tummy contracts to lift you back up to center. Turn all your toes to point forward so the outer edges of your feet are parallel. Grab your hips. And as you're ready, just take a nice slow bow forward and down. Leave the fingertips on the floor. Just gently bend into the right knee. Through the center, bend into left knee. So you just wave the lunge sideways. A few rounds. Right back towards the heels. Yeah, I'm noticing one side is a lot tighter than the other for some reason. So you could always hold one side a bit longer if you like. And then we center it off and just take a gentle bow. Let your head go, let your shoulders go. Option of a gentle mudra grip, interlace middle index fingers around the big toes. As the elbows bend, just try to keep your shoulders parked so there's no shrug. And give yourself that gentle support to bow down. Now undo the grip, hands to floor for support. Walk the feet in till they're a little wider than your hips. Toes turn out. Let's try a squat, see what happens. So you could leave hands on the floor. You can bring hands to your heart. And try to lift your chest. So hips are sinking, heart's lifting. Let the hips open wide. And then hand to the floor behind you. Come all the way down to sit. Now for the seated poses, just take your time. We're gonna tuck the left foot in, bend the right leg so the right foot's flat on the floor. And notice how you can sit tall, so you're up on the sitting bones, lifting your heart. Interlace your fingers, slide your hands around the sole of the right foot, and then slowly extend the right leg. A little bit or a lot, I know you need a solid grip. And then slouch and feel the difference as you lift your heart instead, find your sitting bones. Try to drop the shoulder blades down your back and press out through that heel. A variation is to bend the leg, interlace the fingers around the ankle joint, a bit of flexion on the foot, and then you rock the baby. Rock the right leg side to side. If that feels okay, you're gonna bring the outer edge of the right foot to the inner crease of the left elbow. Go for the wrap, maybe interlace, and rock the leg from there. If that's just like, what the heck, don't worry about it. You can hold the foot instead or take a break and we'll be back in a second. Pause in the center, lift your heart, big toe towards the ear on that side. Full breath. And then you gently release. So unwind, shake out the legs. Now I know you know what's coming, so we'll set it up carefully. Tuck the right foot in, bend the left leg foot flat. Extend the spine first, you've got some muscle memory here and then interlace your fingers. Slide your hands around the sole of the left foot and then slowly extend left leg towards straight. Slouch, some of us this is so much more comfortable, but make that adjustment. So you lift your heart, 
find your sitting bones and sit tall. Solid grip, I know you gotta hold on tight, press out through that heel, don't forget to breathe. As the left knee bends off to the side, you can interlace your fingers around the ankle, flexion on the foot, and rock the left leg side to side. If your foot's pretty close to you, you might be able to bring the outer edge of the left foot to the inner crease of your right elbow, and then you wrap the left arm around the knee, interlace, and rock from there. As much as it feels good, you can feel how you kind of want to slouch, right? So keep lifting the chest. That right foot on the floor is there to support you, sitting tall, and you can pause for a moment, big toe towards ear on that side, chest up, and then slowly unwind. So again, shake out the legs if you need to. Soles of the feet come together for cobbler. Now you can interlace your fingers around your toes. Start just with a soft fold, heart forward, and then down. Wave the torso side to side and see how this feels for you. I call it snaking. Snake your way into that bow. And you might feel like there's so much more benefit here, just easing the weight side to side. Or you can actually hold the stretch on the side by extending arms, hands out ahead, and then walking the hands a few degrees to the right. Whatever direction your left fingertips point out to on that diagonal, let them crawl out another inch or two, and then take your bow. Just try to keep your shoulders level. Breathe all the way down into the left side of the lower back. When you're ready, walk it over to the other side, so hands walk to left. You find your diagonal, whatever direction the right fingertips point, let them crawl out into that direction. And then shoulders level, let's let the head relax down. Exactly where you're feeling your stretch is where you're going to send your breath. Finish off in the center, either arms, hands extend out or go back to interlacing fingers around your toes. Let your head relax down completely. Wait till you finish off that last breath. Maybe a slow spinal roll up, hands are there to support if you need. When the head reaches center, roll out through the shoulders, help your knees to come up, feet flat and turn on your mat so you've got lots of space behind you. Now anchoring the feet, including your toes, let the arms extend out ahead, palms face in, and then slowly begin to roll yourself down as you round your back. When the head reaches floor, hands come to the tummy, you're back where you started. Feel your breath. Feet step out to about the width of the mat, arms extend up overhead softly. Windshield wipers, rock the knees up and over to the right, up and over to the left. I always feel like I'm untangling my hip flexors here, so as you're rocking the knees side to side, notice how this feels for you. And you can keep doing the windshield wipers, or from the center, Walk your feet in until they're hip width and heels are under knees. Just a soft bridge pose, contracting the buttocks gently. Lift your pelvis up. It's not about coming into such a big back bend or a big stretch. It's just finding a sort of even balance of all the muscles along the back of the body. Lifting and opening the front side of the spine. So you find that space strength breathe into it and then see if you can come out with control so resist with the buttocks roll it down in slow slow motion and as buttocks touch down is your right ankle to your left knee Pigeon on your back, so the legs will come in towards you and the right arm reaches through the window of the right leg, interlace over the knee or under the thigh, squeeze the legs in and give it a gentle rock from side to side. Now keep the legs close, let the arms extend out, one line with shoulders, rock the legs over and down to the left, 
and the left hand or elbow comes to the top knee or thigh just to help the legs to come over and down and head takes a gentle turn to the right. Feel gravity. Feel your breath. When you're ready to unwind, use your left hand for support. Track the legs back into the center and then uncross to recross, left ankle to right knee. Left arm reaches through the window of the left leg. Interlace over the knee or under the thigh. Squeeze in, maybe rock it out side to side. From the center, keep your legs close. Arms stretch out again, one line with shoulders and the legs rock over and down to the right. Right hand or elbow to that top knee, thigh, just as a gentle assist. Head takes a, about a half a turn, I'd say, to the left. I don't want you to force that. Just a bit of rotation for the neck. With each exhalation, legs heavy, shoulders heavy. When you're ready to unwind, legs come back in and uncross. Hug your knees in and rock it out a few times side to side. And bring the feet to the floor. Let the legs extend out. Feet, knees fall away. Interlace your fingers, slide your palms up under the back of the head. Elbows close in and then lift your head up. Keep the chin drawing in for this one and Give your head a really good roll around, side to side, keep lifting, face is soft, temple soft, jaws relaxed. From the center you might be able to lift your head a little higher and slowly bring your head down. Walk the shoulder blades down your back. Hands either rest on tummy or arms are out at your sides, palms face up. Make any micro adjustments here. Give yourself a few moments to rest, recalibrate. With each gentle inhalation, reminds us to be light and open and spacious. Each gentle exhalation reminds us to be grounded, soften, and release. Feel your breath flowing easily, naturally, Effortlessly, fully relaxed. to move your toes, move your fingers, let the arms stretch up overhead, interlace your fingers, give it an inhale and stretch, and then exhale, relax, do it again, a big inhale, stretch out, exhale, relax. One more with a hold, so you inhale, stretch out, reach out, hold your breath, keep stretching, and then exhale, relax. Bend the legs, feet flat. Stay here a little longer if you can. Namaste.